social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Juice. On today's show, we've got one of the most popular comedians in Africa, Basket Mouth, on The Juice Couch. But first, we put the spotlight on the very eclectic Timmy Dollface. Right, she blew our minds with Pasa Pasa, and every time you see her on the red carpet, you definitely remember her. It is the beautiful Timmy Dollface. Very much for that lovely welcome. It's true. It's yeah. very true. Uh, first question: Who is Timmy Dollface? Hmm. Timmy Dollface, in one well, actually not one word, I would say, is a creative multitasker on a one-woman mission to shatter pop stereotypes. Okay. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> um, can't remember what I just said. Sorry. Um, I heard to shatter pop stereotypes. Stereotypes. Okay, all right, okay. Um, I mentioned Pasa Pasa mm -hmm. in the introduction because it was, it was very, it was very different. It was very different and I think that um, made a lot of people take notice. The song itself was different. The video was, you know, um, awesome. It was, it was Thank sexy you. but sophisticated and um, I, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not old school. But just was, there was a bit of old school in there. It was a mixture of the past, the present, and the future, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Pata Pata. Okay, what do you want to know? Who inspired it? What inspired it? Um, it wasn't actually something that I'd gone through. It was more of uh, more a question of going to the studio. We, we were just toing and froing with ideas to start with. And then the producer I worked with on it, mm -hmm. I co produced a song with Icon, just started playing this amazing, haunting riff. And I was like, that's the one, that's the one. And so that the, the music kind of informed the words. And I felt like the song was crying out for breakup. <laughs> breakup? Yes, that's so what it was about. So you didn't draw on any you know, personal experiences? No, no, not for that song. I mean, yes, I've gone through breakups. We all have, but I didn't, at the time I was particularly happy. So no, I don't think okay. I did. Right. <laughs> yeah. And your next single, my beep, next beep. single, Beep Beep, yes. Um, that's kind of, there's been a bit of a, de a delay with that. Um, mm -hmm. For good reason, it'll be worth it. We've shot a really, really amazing video and I wanted that to be just right because I'm a firm believer in quality. So mm. Beep Beep is round the corner. It's going to come out very soon and I, I, I believe that the fans will be, it'll be worth it. Now, how would you describe, I'm going to get you to describe your sound and your style. Okay. So your sound first. My sound, okay. I call it, I call what I do drama soul. And that's because it's human nature to want to put people in categories. And so I kind of just did it for you, but to all intents and, intents and purposes, I'm a multi-genre artist who just wants to express all the different influences that I have and sort of incorporate them all into one sound. So really, my influences are people like Fela Kuti, Stevie Wonder, um, then there's Billie Holiday and mm. Ella Fitzgerald, then there's Pharrell and Missy Elliott. Billie Holiday. So, I see that. Yep, I see that. So um, uh, to define it, I would just say it's a mishmash of all the things I'm inspired by, but from a more pro um, progressive angle. Okay. Yes. And mm. your style. Yes. Yes, your style. How would I do? Hmm. Can you? A little bit vintage. Sometimes. Well, actually, most of the time, at mm. any given time, I'm wearing an item of vintage, but I may not be wearing it in a vintage mm. way. Well, I do kind of feel slightly displaced in time. I feel like I should have been born around the 40s, so that this would be the 50s, and I can go to the supermarket wearing gloves and a hat. You know, I wish, I wish we could live like that, you know. Um, there's a part of me that pines for the past, um, and I, I just like clothes with a story behind them, mm. with a bit of history. So there's that aspect of me, but I would say my style is is forward thinking with a nod to the past as opposed to <laughs> always <laughs> being <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> being like vintage. Is it true that you used to be signed to a record label, a British record label? That would be right. Okay. Yes. 
Are you still signed with them or? No. 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 Okay. Was that a good ending, bad ending? Um, or you know what? At the time, it felt like the worst thing to happen to me Well, when, when things came to an end. Um, but was I it think it was the making of me. Decision or um, no, it was actually me that decided to, to walk away because um, I was in an environment that did nothing to nurture my creativity and it was almost like being a bystander in my own life, watching music that I had composed and written, you know, being produced a completely different way and I had no say over the outcome. Mm. So after a while, coupled with, with um, some other issues with management, I just decided, look, you know, this, you only get one chance at a first impression. And so um, I, I made the choice to walk away, though I still had a publishing deal with them. Yeah. And last question, last mm -hmm. question. Um, if you could pick somebody, mm -hmm. um, a musician, Nigerian, international, alive or dead, that you could work with? Pharrell Williams, Pharrell Williams, <laughs> Pharrell Williams, Pharrell Williams. I feel like um, myself and Pharrell, would we're both very experimental with our mm. styles you can see that he's he's influenced by stevie mm. wonder earth wind and fire and people like that so it would be so interesting to see you know what we create and then i'm bringing the african you know thing to the table as well so uh, yeah i i would like to see that best mm -hmm. of luck though with your you, you know working with you know pharrell williams i definitely think it could happen it's gonna happen yes it's gonna happen. leave it accept I it i will make claim it happen it. with my <laughs> own i declare and decree <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for, you for stopping me. by. Thank and um, keep watching, Timmy Dollface will be performing later on. Hi, I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel. And you can also watch more videos here. <laughs>